Good evening. Merrily is off tonight. Police are still on the scene of a Point Douglas home which may be connected to the murder of a BC woman late last month. CTV's Caroline Bargut broke this story and joins us now live. Caroline, what are police looking for? Well, Gord, police remain tight-lipped about what they are looking for inside this home. Officers from Winnipeg Police as well as RCMP arrived here early Tuesday morning. As you can see, they are still here and have been here around the clock. Our neighbors say last night they heard what sounded like digging. But tonight we're also learning more about a BC man CTV News is told is at the center of this investigation. For three straight days, Winnipeg police and RCMP have been in and out of this Point Douglas home. A blue tarp hangs in the windows, covering up details of the investigation taking place inside. We can't go into the basement and we can't go into this, this suite right here. This woman lives in the home and says on Wednesday the officers began to dig. A short while later, she saw them leave the apartment carrying four boxes. I heard some digging in that over yesterday and yesterday evening, so like picks and hammers kind of things. Sources tell CTV News officers on the Project Devote Task Force are searching for clues in an unsolved case involving a Manitoba missing or murdered woman. Clues police uncovered while investigating the death of a BC woman. It is a standard practice whenever we have a major case such as this where there is a homicide and we have a suspect in custody uh, that investigators uh, will look at unsolved cases and will reach out to other jurisdictions. Jennifer McPherson disappeared from her home on Hanson Island in British Columbia a week ago. Her remains were later found. Her husband, 37-year-old Trago Andretti, is now charged with second-degree murder. The victim's family tells CTV News the couple lived in Winnipeg five years ago. In the same Point Douglas home, officers are now scouring. According to court documents, Andretti is known to police both in British Columbia and Manitoba. We've also learned that he doesn't just go by the name of Trago Andretti. He's also known as Dylan Grubb. Now, Winnipeg police say they are assisting RCMP in an investigation. RCMP say they are doing a criminal investigation. They're conducting a criminal investigation, but won't say what it involves. They won't say whether it involves Andretti or Project Devote. Thanks, Caroline. CTV's Caroline Bargut reporting live tonight. And